Hi, I'm Anne. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a sit down video because I honestly had no idea what video I wanted to put out this Wednesday. In my video last week, Kefu left this amazing comment asking me, what type of writing do you prefer? Do you prefer to write longhand, aka by hand, um, on typewriter or on computer? And you know, the benefits of each. And she brought up the point that JK Rowling actually in an interview said that she wrote Harry Potter by hand, which seems like a lot. But I wanted to talk about my thoughts of like different types of writing and the negatives and the benefits of these three types of writing. Obviously, one of the mm, benefits of writing on a computer is just how quick things go. Uh, the reality is you can type a lot quicker than you can on a typewriter or by hand. By hand is very strenuous on your hand. That's just the reality. And you can't write as long. Also, when it comes to making changes, the computer is so much easier. If you have a mistake, you can just go back and delete it or add more words or something like that. Whereas with a typewriter, you have to retype that entire page. Uh, same thing with a written book. Um, saying that, here is my case for writing by typewriter, writing by hand, and the benefits I see to it. First and foremost, I think it's simply about distractions. The whole thing about writing is that there's a lot of stimuli in the modern age that writers a century ago did not have. Nowadays, you have Facebook, you have social media, you're, you have your phone nearby. Uh, even on your computer, you can pop up a tab and just watch YouTube instead of actually doing writing. So there's a lot of distractions on the computer that you don't see when it comes to typewriting or writing by hand, because by hand, you literally have a pad of paper in front of you and you have a pen or a pencil. That's all. <laughs> Same thing with a typewriter. You only have a typewriter and paper. That's all you have. You don't have those extra distractions that you have when it comes to typing on a computer. Now, I love typing on a computer because you can turn on some ambiance in the background, but I admit when I'm distracted, I would just open another tab and be like, oh, I should be watching another YouTube video. And then I would get less work done when it comes to writing or I will work less efficiently. However, it's also nice to have a tab open to look at the thesaurus because if I'm trying to think of a word, and I have this a lot of times where I'm like, I'm trying to think of a word, but I can't think of what word I'm trying to think of. So I don't know what to write. And if I open the thesaurus and I just pick like a generic word that kind of means what I'm trying to think of, maybe I'll find the word that my brain just won't process right now. So there are benefits and negatives to both. Another benefit when it comes to writing by hand especially is it really slows you down. It makes you think about every single word you write because you can't write as quickly. You can't just like throw in a dozen extra words because you need to actually specifically write out all those dozen words. Whereas on a computer, you can type it up very quickly, especially if you've taken a typing class or you've just had a lot of practice. Um, it goes a lot quicker. So you don't think about the words that you're writing so much and you end up adding more filler words that you wouldn't necessarily do if you were writing by hand. Also, when it comes to typewriters, I got a typewriter when I was seven or something uh, at a garage sale um, near my childhood church. And I remember it was a few dollars. I don't remember how expensive it was. And I begged my mother to have that and she got it for me because she's amazing. But I, I remember specifically thinking at the time that this is really cool. I, I love this typewriter because it makes me feel in the zone. And I think that's the, one of the benefits of writing by a typewriter specifically, is if you're writing a book, especially a historical book or a book that is about arc, dark academia or something like that, writing on a typewriter can really put you in the zone of writing a book and inspire you to write that type of book. And that's why sometimes, even if it is literally just like a character sketch, I will just pull out my typewriter and just write something just for a little bit. Now, usually I don't write a full story on the typewriter because again, it's just a lot of work to retype a page if you make one mistake. Um, however, there's something great about writing on a typewriter and just being immersed in that 
time period, especially if I'm writing a book that is set in the 20s and 30s. They didn't have computers back then, but they would have typewriters. Whereas if I'm writing a Victorian story or something pre-Victorian era, I would probably prefer writing it by hand because that's how people usually wrote stuff. Now, in the Victorian era, especially the later Victorian era, they did have typewriters. But in the early Victorian era, say the 50s, 40s, and pre that, most average people didn't own a typewriter. So especially if you are writing historical fiction, and that's usually what I write, um, you'll feel so inspired to try writing by hand, whether it's by typewriter or physical hand. I have always enjoyed writing physically by hand to cards to people and things like that. But I'm curious if you guys, whether you write books or you just write anything to people by hand or by typewriter, do you own a typewriter? Do you own a mechanical typewriter? I have a not mechanical typewriter. I have a very old typewriter. I think it's from the 50s, the typewriter I specifically own. Someday I would love to invest in a really nice, very old typewriter. However, I can't afford it right now. So we'll see in the future. It's definitely not one of my priorities. But or the computer because let's face it, it's a lot easier to like shoot off an email to somebody as opposed to write them a physical letter. But I'm curious what your thoughts are on this topic. And so next week, I will be doing a first month wrap up of my writing what I thought went well, what I thought I could improve on. Um, and just in general, how it's going with my writing of my novel. And spoiler alert is going really well. <laughs> uh, also, my fiance and I have found an apartment Finally, we can't move into it until a week after our wedding. So stay tuned for some apartment tours, both before we get all our furniture in and then let's see what mess we have once we get everything in. We'll see if we need enough furniture. We have enough furniture and we may be running out to like Walmart or something like that saying, oh no, we need a TV stand. We probably will. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe. I post every Saturday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.